call on Government Order of the Day number five. Environmental Reporting Bill, second reading. Uh, Mr Speaker. Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I move that the Environment Reporting Bill be now read a second time. Mr Speaker, I want to begin by thanking members of the Local Government and Environment Select Committee, particularly the Chairperson uh, Scott Simpson, the Officers of Parliament, for the very sensible refinements uh, that the committee has made to this important bill. Uh, this bill uh, has its origins back in Nationals Blue Greens in our efforts to improve the integrity of New Zealand's clean green brand. It was part of the policy that we put to the electorate and I'm pleased to be now in the Parliament seeing it progress through into legislation. Uh, Mr Speaker, we're actually the only OECD country to not have a statutory framework for environmental reporting. It's an anomaly out of step with New Zealand's clean green brand. Uh, this new Act will rightly put our environmental management under scrutiny and improve the integrity uh, of New Zealand's brand. Mr Speaker, we shouldn't underestimate the power of open reporting systems to improve performance. I remember in my first term of Parliament when New Zealand had had 30 years of pretty appalling management of New Zealand's public finances and the Fiscal Responsibility Act requiring governments of whatever political flavour to be absolutely upfront with the electorate about the state of the government's books has been a game changer in moving New Zealand from having some of the worst public accounts in the world to one of the best. And I'd also make the consistent analogy with education, where members on this side of the House, as part of our policy agenda, introduced the Education Standards Act that equally requires open and transparent reporting of how well our children are doing at school, because we believe that providing integrity and honest reporting actually help improves performance. And it's been interesting in the years since 2009 to watch both in the NCA results and in those national standards a consistent improvement in the way in which children are learning maths, learning to read and write, and those basic standards that are so important to New Zealand achieving better in that area. This Environment Reporting Bill is about an equally significant area where I think New Zealanders want us to do better as a country and by having standardised reporting in areas like of water quality, of air quality, of how well we're doing in protecting our biodiversity and survival of important species like the Kiwi, what sort of job we're doing of managing our oceans, all those areas, in my view, is a very important step of which I'm proud to be part of a government that's advancing. Mr Speaker, it's part of a broader role in terms of what we've been doing at a government in strengthening the role of the institutions of firstly the Ministry for the Environment as the policy maker, the Treasury equivalent uh, of what occurs in the economic space, of the Environmental Protection Authority, an agency that was created by this government to act as the effective independent regulator, not indifferent in the economic sphere, to the role that is played by the Reserve Bank. And then just as we have an auditor, we also have an important role with the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment, whose job it is to provide the overall independence of our system of environmental management. And it is my view that this bill will actually strengthen those institutional structures that will also play out well for our country. Mr Speaker, I want to talk to two controversies in the process of the bills being processed to set the record straight. There are unusually parties in this parliament that I thought would support a good bill like this that is absolutely well intended, that is best practised by OECD standards, and a great deal has been made of Clause 18. This is the provision that sets down by which topics will be reported. 
and the controversy that members in the Green Party and the Labour Party in justifying the opposition for this bill is somehow that there's something wrong about the Government Minister of Statistics and Environment setting the, to the topic areas. The first thing I'd point out is the legislation makes plain the five domain areas in which those topics must cover. The bill goes further and requires a process of public consultation with the government statistician, with the parliamentary commissioner for the environment, with the public, with iwi and local authorities about each of those topics. And my challenge for members that want to criticise clause 18 is this. The exact parallel provisions exist in the finance area. So indeed, if it comes to measuring things like GDP or the consumer price index, or the Labour Index, there is no more role for the Minister of Statistics and the Minister for the Environment than there is in those parallel areas. So why is it that they want to have a separate set of rules when it comes to environmental reporting? I have never heard a member of the opposition, nor in their nine years in government, ever raise any questions of integrity in the economic space about the equivalent of Clause 18. So why would they do so here? I simply say to this House, it's crude oppositional politics rather than actually trying to be constructive. The second issue that's been raised is why does it not provide for greenhouse gas emissions, which of course is important, being reported? And there's a very simple explanation. New Zealand is a member of the Framework Convention on Climate Change. It requires every single year, every single year, for greenhouse gas emissions to be reported. It might be a lesson for David Cunliffe Order. that during the nine years of the previous government, greenhouse gas emissions rose very steeply. Actually, I would much rather, Mr Cunliffe, have our record on greenhouse gas emissions than the previous Clark government that was all talk and no action. But my point is this to Mr Cunliffe and to members opposite. The Framework Convention is enlisted in legislation, the Climate Change Response Act. It requires every single year for us to both report to the United Nations Convention on Climate Change and to table in this parliament New Zealand's greenhouse gas emissions. So why would you insist that there be another act of parliament to repeat those same reports? Are members opposite really saying that the very robust process of independent country auditing of greenhouse gas emissions is not good enough for them? And if so, again, I challenge them, why was it then good enough for them in government? We are a party of minimising bureaucracy, reporting information accurately and doing it once, and not having repeat information in one document after another. And in my view, the provisions of the bill in that regard are absolutely sensible. The last point I wish to make in respect of the role for ministers and for government is let's not pretend there isn't a cost with environment reporting. The reality is that if we're going to pass regulations requiring regional councils, district councils, ministries to collect environmental data, it is actually quite expensive to get good quality data. And the view that's put by opposition parties that somehow uh, parties that are independent of government can make decisions about spending breaks one of the fundamental rules of the way in which our system of government works, and that is it is only the elected government of the day that can commit to expenditure, including the expenditure on the collection of environmental data. The system that is provided for in this bill is absolutely transparent, and if governments of whatever political cover attempt to, discount, to misrepresent or not collect robust environmental data on the basis of budgetary constraint, it will be transparent as the day is light, and that is proper, and that is why the bill is drafted in this way. Mr Speaker, this is a good bill. This is a bill that will ensure that New Zealand doesn't just brand itself internationally as being clean and green. This is a bill that will give honest, open reporting on just how we're doing. It's the sort of bill that a national government support. We are a practical government that wants New Zealand achieving economically, educationally, as well as in this environment space, and we are proud to be party 
that is making this significant change to our legislative as well as our constitutional framework, how we manage that natural resources that are so important to this country. Yeah.